Here's another problem dealing with reading the stock table. Use the stock table for AT&T to answer the following. Suppose that you bought 600 shares of AT&T, paying the price per share at which a share traded when the stock exchange closed yesterday. If the broker charges 2.5% of the price paid for all 600 shares, find the broker's commission. To find the value for how much we ended up paying when the stock exchange closed yesterday, we're going to take the value right underneath the word close. So you paid $25.75 per share. You bought 600 shares. So multiplying these two amounts together gives you $15,450. Now to find the broker's fee, we're simply going to take his charge of 2.5% and we're going to take 2.5% of this total. So that means we're going to change this to its decimal format, multiply times $15,450, and we come up with $386.25 as his fee.